Outside. That's why I got here early. Hmm. The duck came inside, just like me. Mangatsika, lots of creatures are coming in from the cold. I've never seen that kind of a cat before. Hmm. I think I'm onto something. Chris, over here. What did you find? Lynx tracks. Ooh, they're lynx footprints, all right. They're beauties. Let's follow them. I'm right behind you, bro. Ashu! I smell mud. Uh-oh. You stepped in the mud. <laughs> now your footprints are all over Animal Junction. <laughs> oh, he's making tracks. I'm gonna follow them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those tracks are big. Real big. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Bigfoot Cat. Wow. Your feet are giant. Bigger than big. Let's call Chris and Martin. This is a cat they'll want to meet. Chris, Martin! The tracks are headed right down this hill! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, Bigfoot Cat, I don't think they can hear us. Come on, let's call louder this time. Chris, Martin! Run, brothers! Chris, Martin! Wait a minute, I hear something. It's Zabu! He must be an animal juncture already! Come on! Fast. Zob, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are you up to, Zob? Well, I beat you guys. Now you have to do what I do when I come in. You have to be a lemur, like me. What? Right. Yeah, no problem. Good lemur leaping, Chris. Yeah. Come on, leap like a lemur. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Lemurs leap much higher than that. <laughs> Whatever you say, Zog! Leap in, lemur! Well, you can't talk. First snack, then talk. Remember? I'll get the snack. <laughs> Chris, pizza! Martin, spaghetti. <laughs> Chris and Martin like their snacks. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Excuse me? Like me! First they snack, then they burp, then they talk! <laughs> so what did you see out there? Did you see the mystery animal? We saw tracks, Zob. And we know whose tracks they are. See if you can guess. Who, Who could, could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> okay, pointy ears. You can see those pointy ears right away and big paws that made huge tracks in the snow. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Mongotska. Mongotska. Animal. He was a kind of wild cat. And this wild cat loves to jump and pounce. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A point here, here short tail track, track maker. maker. Do, Do you, you know, know who he is? is? Now, let's see. He's got big, big feet and pointy ears. That sounds like 
I know who. Bigfoot Cat. That's who you were following? Yeah! I can't believe my mind. I got, I got mystery animals here. Yeah, yeah. He's called a lynx, Sob. A Bigfoot lynx cat. This is the creature whose tracks we were following. A young lynx. Uh-oh. I think the lynx forgot his tail in the woods. Nope, that's all of it, Zob. Lynx tails are short and stubby. His tail looks like your nose, Narchi. I like it. I like it. There you go. You can only pet a lynx in Animal Junction. Hey. His ears are pointy. Black tufts of hair. Big feet, short tail, pointy ears. The lynx is Manga Tsika. That means I love him. <laughs> and this lynx seems to be looking for something. His head's always moving. He's looking around and he's listening to all the sounds. I think he is looking for something. But what do you think he's looking for? Maybe he's looking for someone to play with. <laughs> Come on, Lynx, play with me. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm being lynxed. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, you're really fast. Whoa. Those big paws are fast, Zob, and strong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Links love to play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa that tickles. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Play with me. Whoa, whoa. He plays rough. When those big feet have you, they really have you. <laughs> you're right, Zob. Look at those feet. They're incredible. Thanks, Chris. I was born with them. He's not talking about your feet. He's talking about the lynx's feet. Oh, yeah. His feet are big with lots of fur around them to make them even bigger. And his big feet don't uh, sink in the snow. Yeah. Like these things you wear on your feet. Hmm. Yeah, snowshoes. Yeah, snowshoes. You got it, Zob. These snowshoes will help us run in the snow like a lynx. You want to run in the snow like a lynx? Come on. When spring comes, the lynx sheds that extra fur on his feet. Because when there's no snow, he doesn't need his snowshoes. Hey, what are you sniffing for? Bigfoot the lynx is looking for something. I just know it. Oh, no. Watch out. Oh, lots of yellow paint on the floor. Oh, Mouse likes it. And now Mouse is leaving little yellow tracks everywhere. <laughs> Snakes making slidey tracks. Super cool slidey tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Martin, look what the Lynx did. And look at all these creature tracks. What are these ones? A kangaroo! Big feet, big tracks. Look at this. It's like a slippery, slidey snail trail, only bigger. It's a boa constrictor. This is who made that track. Look at his little tongue. It's flicking in and out. But Chris, how does he make a track? He doesn't have any feet. He makes it with his whole body. Huh? Yeah, he just slithers along and leaves a squiggly track. Snakes are like one long foot. Snakes are solid muscle. He's so heavy. Look at him go. <laughs> there are tracks all over this place. You know what? I think I'll make my own tracks. 
wonder what creature foot made these tracks. Whoa, big feet, big creature. Hey, Zobs. A creature didn't make these tracks, a creature venturer did. <laughs> Martin, you left your feet, you left your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Great tracking, Zabu. Shh, I'm gonna play a trick on Zabu. Watch this. <laughs> I can walk in my hands, too. <laughs> What's that? Wow, look at these tracks. Whatever foot made these tracks must have... I can't believe my mind. They're gone. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's a real mystery, mm -hmm. Zob. Well, it looks like mine, but it's bigger. Well, mine is little. Yeah. Huh? Chris? It's your hand footprint. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Zob. <laughs> <laughs> Silly guy. Yeah. Everybody can make tracks. You can do it too. Nah. Me and my friends made tracks in Zabu land. So I was leap leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I saw some tracks, I thought, what kind of a creature made those tracks? So I followed them. <laughs> leap, leap, leap. And then I bumped into Sensit. Oh, oh, no. Hi, Sensit. I'm following oh, tracks. No, oh, Zabu. Those are my tracks. Yeah, yeah, hey, tracks. I've got an idea. Huh? Why don't we all make tracks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's tracks. Make tracks. Yeah, yeah. tracks. Great idea. <laughs> so we all made yeah, tracks together. And we all did it our own way. Well, Snow Lemur? Snow Lemur left great big waddly tracks. Sensit? Sensit made tracks with his fingers this time. I left along, so my tracks had big spaces between them. And Slimantha left two kinds of tracks, walking ones and sliding ones. <laughs> then we bumped into Google, and Google said... More nice tracks. We'll make more. Okay, so we made a whole bunch more. The end. <laughs> that was a great story, Zabu. But what is the Lynx looking for? I still think he's looking for someone to play with. <laughs> All right, let's play a ball with the links. There you go. Catch it, ice! Oh, nice bouncing, Martin. <laughs> Thanks, uh. Got it, link style. Play a ball with the links. Here's your ball. <laughs> Thanks, Zob. Well, it's fun to play catch with the links. And Animal Junction's the only place you can do it. <laughs> Nice toss. All cats love to pounce, especially kittens in the wild. One time we saw two lynx kittens pouncing and wrestling in the grass. Now their sister heard them playing and she wanted to get in on the action. She couldn't see anything over the tall grass, but she could hear them. She followed the sounds and her ears led her right to the spot where her brothers were. Soon, all three of them were rolling around and playing and having a great time, thanks to those ears. I can't believe my mind. His ears are so soft and so big. He needs those big ears, up. Yeah, the lynx isn't the fastest cat in the world. So for hunting, he needs to rely on his smooth, steady moves, his great eyesight, and those excellent ears. Check out that cat. Do you want to go back down? There you go, buddy. Hey, the cat's headed right towards the... Mud. Cat prints. You know, cat paws are a lot like Link's paws without the snowshoe size. She was looking for the cat. Wow, that's weird. A cat and a wild Link's? Friends? <laughs> this could only happen in Animal Junction. Hooray! Hooray! Lynx found his friend. We're feeling kind of lynxish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that 
I can do? I'm feeling kind of lynxish. How about you? Lynxish. Feeling kind of lynxish. <laughs> lynxish. Oh, yeah. I'm a big footed cat who knows where it's at. Lynxish. Do you hear that? They're purring, Zabu. That means they're happy. They're pals. Bye, Lynx. Bye, Orange Cat. There goes my Bigfoot friends. Yeah. Incoming! Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a duck! duck. That's not a duck. It's Moonface. The barn owl. My pal. He doesn't leave tracks when he flies. But his tracks are all over this message from Jackie. Are birds the only animals who eat from a bird feeder? I don't think so. Squirrels and chipmunks love to eat seeds, too. But squirrels eat so many seeds, there's hardly any left for the birds. Here's the solution. I made the scarf so squirrels can't get to the bird feeder. They can get seeds from the ground. Because some birds, they get more food on the ground than in their mouths. This way, both the birds and squirrels get to eat. Here's another cool thing about feeders. Great place to find animal tracks. See that? Hey, Martin, Chris, do you think you can find me by following my tracks? Oh, and don't forget, if you start a bird feeder, make sure it's filled all winter long. The birds will come to count on you. I wonder where she's going. We'll have to follow her tracks to find her. Sounds like a trip to me. Me too. They're going to the closet, they're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Let's go track Jackie! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. I'm gonna fool Martin and Chris. When they see my footprints stop, they'll think I disappeared. They stop because I'm walking backwards in them. Hey, Chris, this way. Looks like a human foot in a size one boot. Yep, these are Jackie tracks for sure. We got her now, no problem. Do you know Jackie? What? Her track stop. <laughs> Did Jackie learn to fly or something? <laughs> I don't think so. They're never going to find me. Martin, different tracks. Hmm, let's see. Two toe prints, clean break down the middle. Not as pointy as a deer's tracks. I'm pretty sure these tracks were made by the feet of a bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep use their front feet to dig in the snow. They're looking for food. Under the snow, there's lots of grass and other great tasting stuff to eat. Good idea, dig for food. Whoa, a granola bar. Good find, Chris. Top that, bro. All right. Chocolate! <sighs> you never know what you can find under the snow. You'll never find me up here. Trying to figure out tracks is like solving a puzzle. You have to look at the track and try to figure out what kind of an animal has a foot that's shaped like that. These are Jackie tracks and somebody in the weasel family made this track. But who, a long-tailed weasel? Short-tailed weasel? Skunk? Otter? Fisher? There's only one way to find out. Follow those tracks. Let's go. These Jackie tracks look really fresh. Oh, here they come. Yeah, I think we're closing.
You thinking what I'm thinking? Cat! Jackie! <laughs> Jackie! Whoa! Jackie! <laughs> gotcha, guys! Jackie, you use that old creature standby. When they're hot on your tail, climb a tree! <laughs> I wasn't the only one, guys. I had company up there. A fisher was chasing a porcupine up the tree. Wow! There's the porcupine. There's the fisher. Hey, did you know that when there's snow on the ground, a fisher can jump 20 feet out of a tree? Look at him go! Uh -huh. In the winter, fishers travel huge distances across the snow looking for food. And a porcupine is their favorite meal. But a porcupine's safe as long as he has his quills and can climb up in a tree. Hey, do you hear that? Sounds like bells. That's our ride home, guys. Excellent! Let's go! <laughs> cool! Great idea, Jackie. Hey. No problem. <laughs> hey. hey, thanks for picking us up, guys. Going home! Oh, sorry I broke your branches. Um, can I make it up to you? I'll try. A caribou. How's it going, Zavu? Oh, guys, I broke him. I broke the creature. Uh, these branches broke off his head. I was climbing on them, and they broke off. Don't <laughs> worry, Zavu. The caribou is fine. These things that look like branches are called antlers. They grow on a caribou's head, and then, in the winter, they're supposed to fall off. So actually, Zab, you helped the caribou out. Oh. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. Great job, Zob. Thanks. An eastern woodland caribou like her can also be called an American reindeer. Oh, oh she, she likes the cold, oh, like me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? The caribou burped. Hey, Zob, the caribou burped just like you do. I knew there was something I liked about her. Through the spring and summer, her antlers are going to grow back. And then, by the wintertime, they're going to be big. Even bigger than the year before. They'll be huge! Yeah, like tree branches. Big, moving tree branches. <laughs> Reindeer are the only type of deer where both males and females have antlers. Why is your fur falling off, Martin? Besides shedding antlers, a caribou also sheds fur. Look how it's coming off in clumps. Caribou get a whole new coat once a year. Look! <laughs> Caribou's making tracks, too. Yeah! Hey, more tracks! tracks. <laughs> I love tracks. Another amazing thing about the caribou is that great nose. A caribou can smell food buried six feet under the snow. And also food in the snack machine. She probably wants a snack. I always do. Hmm. Come and get it. Eat up, caribou. Wow. Manga Zika. These are giant footprints. Much bigger than the tiny footprints I saw in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. And then I saw something that made me stop in my hop. Tracks. I've got to follow these tracks. And that's what I did. Until the tracks led me to sense it, who was standing <laughs> under a striped hey, hey, fruit tree. Hey, hey, hey. Don't let me be careful. No. <laughs> Hi, Zabu. Hi, sense it. <laughs> did you make these footprints? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, just the big ones. Well, then who made the little ones? <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. They're my little sisters. No, no. I'm babysitting them today. You want to help? <laughs> well, sure, Sense It. So we took care of Sense It's little sisters. <laughs> and we played all kinds of fun games with them. And when they got hungry, we fed them. Then one of the sisters said, Hey, want to make some funny tracks? Okay. And then we all jumped around and made funny tracks. The end. The caribou's making tracks. See you later, caribou. Bye, reindeer. Come back soon. I like calling them reindeer. This animal is
was a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks for dropping by We're glad you came These animals are friends of mine They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb One more thing we have to say Go make an animal friend today Keep making tracks, Sob. Yeah, and we'll see you later, buddy. What could that be? Ho, ho, ho. Could it be? Do you think so? Hi, my name is Josh. This is my pet rooster, Spike. Yeah!